Solo man or Homo erectus soloensis is a prehistoric human known from 11 fossil skulls without facial skeletons and two leg bone fragments that were recovered from terraces of the Solo River at Ngangdong, Java in 1931-32 by Gustav Heinrich Ralph von Konigswald. The fossils found were the only known specimens of this anomalous hominid that were retrieved from sites along the Bengawan Solo River on the Indonesian island of Java. The remains are also commonly referred to as Ngangdong, after the village near where they were first recovered. The cranial capacity of 1,150 to 1,300 cubic centimeters overlap with that of modern man. The skulls are flattened in profile with thick bones and heavy brow ridges forming a torus and the limp bones are indistinguishable from those of modern man. When discovered, skull bases were broken, indicating that the heads may have been taken as trophies and the brains eaten. Solo man was formally classified as Homo sapiens soloensis but is now regarded as a subspecies of the extinct hominin Homo erectus. Solo man has also been thought to date to the late Pleistocene, possibly during the last glaciation about 15,000 to 20,000 years ago, but his age remains uncertain. Solo man's resemblance to Java man and Peking man has led some scholars to consider him a late example of Homo erectus in Asia. Others believe Solo Man is a regional variant of widespread early Homo sapiens populations, also including the Neanderthal peoples of Europe and the Rhodesoid peoples of Africa. The Solo fossils were originally given the genus name Javanthropus. As a subspecies of Homo erectus, now Solo Man is known widely as Homo erectus soloensis. Homo erectus soloensis is not well understood and its classification as a distinct species of early human is debated among scientists. Despite the uncertainty surrounding its classification though, Homo erectus soloensis is an important part of the human evolutionary story and its discovery has helped shed light on the diversity of early humans that once existed on our planet. Overall, the discovery of Homo erectus soloensis is an important part of the human evolutionary story and it highlights the complex and diverse history of early humans on our planet. And with that, we have come to the end of the video. Thanks for watching and please remember to support us by liking our videos and subscribing to the channel. Till then, this is Halabella and see you soon in our next video.